Hello there. This is one of my favourites in mechanics, a car towing a trailer. Yes, you've probably seen them out and out on the road and think, hmm, what's going on there? What's the mechanics going on in there? Maybe, maybe not. I do, but um, these are just great. I love them because they're really easy as well to do once you get the hang of it. So I've taken an example of a car towing a trailer, but it's essentially the motion of two connected objects. So it could be a car towing a caravan, a lorry towing a car, something like that, okay? And for this example, I'm looking at motion along a straight horizontal road, okay, a flat road. Um, it could be that it's on an inclined plane, that'll be later on, but I'm just giving you a simple example to begin with. Right, this is what an M1 question looks like. So a car of mass 2,000 kilograms is turning a trailer of mass 800 kilograms along a straight horizontal road. The car and trailer are connected by a tow bar, there it is, modelled as a light, inextensible string. Okay, remember what that means? Light, so no mass. Inextensible means it's not going to actually extend. Because um, if you had a tow rope there, the rope might actually extend a little bit. Okay, we say it's light, inextensible. What that means is, looking at it from an M1 point of view, the acceleration of the car will be the same as the acceleration of the trailer. They'll speed up and slow down the deceleration. They'll, they'll be at the same rate, okay? That's what happening with the light in its sensible string. Also, get to it in a minute, it's, um, it's got an implication about the tension along that inextensible string as well. We'll get to that in a minute. The engine of the car exerts a driving force of magnitude 8,000 newtons, okay? So engine of the car, driving force, 8,000 newtons. That's what's making it drive along, okay? Um, the car and the trailer experience resistances of magnitudes 2,500 and 1,500 newtons. Um, probably some sort of wind, air resistance, okay? But just notice the shape of the car, shape of the trailer. There'll be more resistance on the actual car itself than the trailer. Um, there could be some frictional forces in play there, but it's lots of things. But it's all lumped together in resistances of magnitudes, okay? So all of the air resistance, friction you think of, it's in these, okay? Um, we've got to find the acceleration and the tension in the tow bar, okay? So acceleration of the car, which would be the same as the acceleration of the trailer, as I mentioned, but the tension of the tow bar as well. Right, that's a lovely picture that shows you what's actually going on in the real world, but diagrammatically, it looks like this. So you need to be able to draw a useful force diagram. It's looking more like this, okay? So here we have the car, and I've labelled in there the mass of 2,000 kilograms, and here we have the trailer, okay? This is the light extensible string, come to that in a minute, okay? The car is exerting a force, a driving force of 8,000 newtons, and because it's moving that way, hence the acceleration arrow, the driving force is also that way as well, okay? And it's all horizontal, because it's in a straight horizontal road, it's in a flat road. The resistance of the car is 2,500 newtons, so that must be opposing the direction of motion, so the resistance is that way, okay? Come to the caravan, or trailer, um, I did say caravans are sometimes going as well, trailer in this question. Come to the trailer, the resistance of the trailer is 1,500 newtons, so that's again going to be opposing. So just notice how these two forces are put on separately. And that's the thing, you see, when you're looking at motion of two connected objects, you can treat them separately, okay? Now, this is the interesting bit, the actual tow bar, the light inextensible string. Experience along that string is a tension that's equal and opposite Okay, equal in size, but opposite in direction. Let me just explain that, okay? If I just cover up the trailer for the moment, because the car is towing something, it's going to experience yet another resistance, okay? The car can't accelerate as quickly because it's towing something. If that rope was no longer there, the car would be able to travel more quickly, be able to accelerate more quickly. But what's hindering its process progress, what's hindering it, what's slowing it down is the fact that it's actually towing something. So we label that as a tension force, okay? It's what's actually slowing it down. So if you look at the car separately, you've got 8,000 newtons driving it forwards, a resistance holding it back, and this tension is also holding it back as well, okay? Now let's look at what's happening with the trailer. What's making the trailer move? Well, it's not the engine in the car. The engine in the car is making the car move. Right, what's actually happening mechanically from a mathematical point of view or physical point of view um, is that it's 
the tension here, the equal and opposite tension in the tow bar that's driving it forward. Okay, if I hide the car for the moment, what's making the trailer move is this tension in the um, light inaccessible stream. Okay. Now, another aspect of it being light and extensible is that we can treat the tensions as being the same. If it was more elastic, if it was actually extensible, then the tensions wouldn't necessarily be the same. Okay. So a modeling assumption we use when it's light and extensible, no mass and tensions are the same. As a result of that, car, trailer, move with the same acceleration. Clear? I hope so. Okay. All you've got to do is just label equal and opposite tensions when you've got connected particles and they're moving. Okay. Right, let's have a look at actually solving this problem. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to redo my board just a little bit, just to make a little bit more space really, okay, so I can set up some equations, okay. Let's just um, remove those unwanted dots there, okay. What we need to do is we need to set up um, two equations, one for the car and one for the trailer or caravan or whatever it's pulling along. Okay? I sometimes mix them up because honestly the questions come up um, quite equally, car tone, trailer, car tone, caravan. Well, what's happening with the car? Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, I don't often do this in one of my videos, but I'm just going to do one of these, okay? Um, draw one of the, that's, that's, that's hiding the, um, the caravan, okay? So it's just so you can focus on what's happening with the car. Really, all right. So what's happening with the car is it's moving that way towards the right in my diagram. So the eight thousand newtons is the positive force that's driving it along forwards. But then what's uh, opposing it is the two thousand five hundred and the tension. Okay. So that is the resolved forces. I just have to move this along a bit, aren't I? That's the resolved forces for the car. Now using our equation of motion, F equals m a. That's really equal to mass times acceleration. The mass is 2,000, and the acceleration, we don't know. It's A. Okay? And what you notice is we've got an equation with two unknowns. Right? So that's not going to be enough. We can simplify it a little bit. 8,000 subtract 2,500 is 5,500. And so that will be subtract T equals 2,000 A. We can't do anything with that, so I'm going to number it equation one and get back to it, okay? You can probably see where this is going, okay? Next, we're gonna do it for the trailer. So I'm just gonna move that there, I'm gonna cover up this bit, okay? And we're gonna pretend that 2,500 is um, not there. So for the trailer, the forces acting on it are the tension and the resistance force there. Now, because it's still moving towards the right, it's still moving um, that way, that tension force is to be positive for the trailer. Remember, that's what's helping the trailer to move. That's effectively what's driving the trailer um, that way, the tension. Okay, and opposing that is the 1,500. That's equal to mass times acceleration. So the mass of the trailer is 800, the acceleration is 8. And I'm going to number that equation 2. You see what we've ended up with? Simultaneous equations. Yes. Just one of the reasons why I like these questions, okay? Because they look difficult to begin with, but they're really, really easy. It's all about setting up simultaneous equations and then solving them. And solving these simultaneous equations could not be simpler because you'll always end up with one equation has a positive value of t and the other has a negative value of t. Reason? Because they're equal in opposite directions, okay? So in one equation, t will be negative, the other equation, t will be positive. That will always happen in this type of scenario. If it doesn't, you've done it wrong somewhere, okay? And because one is positive, one is negative, the simplest way of solving these equations is to add them together. If you add them together, the t's will cancel. t and negative t, they will cancel. Lovely, isn't it? So you've got 5,500 added to negative 1,500. So that would be 4,000 is equal to 2,000a plus 800a. So that's 2,800a. Okay. And I'm going to go up here now for the rest of it. So A will have to be 4,000 divided by 2,800. Okay? So 40 over 28. I'm just going to calculator. I am here. I'm just in search of calculator. Here it is. Okay. Um, so 40 divided by 28. 
a 10 over 7. Um, I would, however, because it's an M1 question, um, round it to three significant figures. Okay, so it's 1.43. I'm putting the units, meters per second squared. Okay, which seems reasonable for a car towing a trailer, 1.43 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration. Um, the second part was to find the tension, just to remind you. Yep, yeah. so find the acceleration of the car, find the tension in the tow bar. Well, that's the other unknown, isn't it, in these equations? And all you do is just substitute this back in. Don't use the 1.43, use the exact value of 10 over 7. Um, let's just put in there uh, 10 over 7. Use the exact value when you substitute back in. I'm going to use equation 2 because it's got an easier equation to use. You can use that one if you wish, but I'll use equation 2 because then it's going to be T is equal to 800A plus 1500, isn't it? So if I do 800 times that, so times 800, and then if I add on 1,500, I'll get 2,642.857, etc. I'm going to round to three significant figures, 2,640 newtons. Okay, which could clarify there. But both answers are to three significant figures. And that is it. That is all. Okay. Um, so rather simple, really, isn't it? So just in summary, car towing trailer, car towing whatever, okay? One object, another object, forces for the car, forces for the trailer, tension, equal and opposite, simultaneous equations, one value will be, one value two will be negative, one will be positive, add them together so they cancel, then you get your acceleration first. Even if the question doesn't ask you for an acceleration, that's still my approach. I'll still work out the acceleration anyway, and then substitute it back in, just because it's the simplest way of solving these simultaneous equations, okay? But I'm hoping you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.